Wait, before this video starts, I have to tell you to subscribe because um, uh, I, I want more subscribers. Please subscribe. I know I don't talk, normally tell you to do this, but only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So subscribe because we're trying to hit 50k soon. I don't know when. It would be nice to hit 50,000 subscribers. So subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm so happy to be making another study with me. It's kind of upsetting because I haven't made one in a while and my channel is built on study with me. So I love doing study with me. I know you guys love them too. So I'm glad to be doing one of these again. But I'm up bright and early nowadays, waking up between 6 and 6.30 a.m. so I can start doing some work. I like doing work in the morning because I'm like ready, I'm rejuvenated. No one's really awake in my house, so it's super quiet. It's super easy to get a lot of stuff done. I finish at 7 when I head downstairs make my breakfast, make my school lunch, and then head to the bus stop at about 10 to 8. Now we are at school. My school day is actually relatively short. I have school from about 8.30 till 2.30. They decided to shorten it up a bit due to corona. This basically means I have shorter breaks. However, I'm home quicker, which is fantastic for getting work done. I come off the bus, it's about quarter two, and then I'm back home and ready to revise. The first thing I do when I get home is unpack my bag and get changed. I'm not too sure how people stay in their school clothes till about five, but for me, I just want to, you know, be in the mood to revise. So I put something on slightly uncomfortable, not too comfortable because, well, I don't want to be too relaxed when I'm revising. And so I try to refrain from things like trackies and instead put on a nice pair of chinos and a jumper. After plugging my MacBook in, I started a little later than usual today, mainly because I was just kind of sick of my to-do list, to figure out what I want to actually get done. Usually I just get home and get on with it, so I'm revising by three, but today I decided to draft my to-do list up first, normally I do it on the bus, and then instead work on a script for an upcoming video. A lot of people tend to ask whether I script all my videos or if I just kind of do things off the top of my head. However, if it's a long form video, for example, something where I'm giving in-depth advice, like my active recall video or my GCC mocks video, then I'll go ahead and script it. However, if it's just something that's a relatively simple topic or something that I know a lot about, I'll just kind of write some pointers down. Anyway, moving on, I get on with some history work using Seneca. I'm really enjoying using Seneca for history. I've said multiple times in my videos that I do use it for a particular set of subjects. I don't use it for things like maths and sciences, really. I tend to just go ahead and do things like history on there because it works extremely well for those kinds of subjects. After doing this for about an hour and 15 minutes, I get a package from Amazon. It's a new set of batteries for my camera. If you don't know, I got a new camera, which is the Sony a6100 with the Sigma 16mm f1.4. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to say, but it's an amazing camera and I really hope you guys are noticing a difference in quality. I hope it's making it a lot more enjoyable to watch, but the battery life isn't great and especially if you're filming study with me videos and a lot of b-roll, you're going to need a lot of batteries. After a quick little battery detour, it's time for some computer science. I was just going through some homework and preparations for little ongoing assessments that I'm sure a lot of you guys are having right now. Uh, they're quite useful, however, also can be quite stressful. It's kind of a bit annoying sometimes, especially since we're not actually meant to be doing any formal assessments. Yet, yeah, I'm pretty sure most schools and most of my viewers are doing some sort of end of year assessment to get your final grade. However, computer science, I'm finding a lot more enjoyable. My my friend Alex, who really wanted me to mention him by name, has been helping me a lot in computer science, especially the pseudocode aspects as well as things like trace tables. After finishing off that homework and going through things like the textbook as well as doing many, 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 many practice questions, I pack up and go downstairs for a little snack and take a little break. Although I enjoy working in four hour blocks and doing that sort of eight hour method, it doesn't work very well when you're in school for five hours and you're super tired. So I need to take a lot more breaks when I'm doing things after school to basically make sure that I'm mentally fit and prepared to study. 
after my break, as you can see, it's 6.30 and I'm getting ready to do some biology work. Again, one of my favorite sciences, and I reiterate this a lot throughout my videos, but biology is extremely interesting and intrigues me quite a lot. As you can see here, I'm just going through some Anki biology and I read the comments guys, an Anki video will be coming out very soon. I hadn't been using it for a little while, but I'm just getting back into it as we're approaching exams and there will be a video, I promise. I promise there will be a video coming up on Anki teaching you guys how to use it. I will be focusing on it heavily throughout A-levels and using it as much as I can because the benefits are absolutely immense when using Anki and I'm sure a lot of people will benefit from it too. I also finish a couple of history quizzes. Sorry if I look like an absolute mess, but just had a, a very good run. Oh, my legs are hurting, mate. This thing is quite nice, got a nice lake to run around here. We'll start running home then. As you can see, I had a pretty good run. Exercising is a key part of my daily routine. And I just get changed, take a shower, and I'm back to working at seven past eight. Usually I like to work or start working on the hour, but wasn't quite as lucky today. Then I just begin doing some Islam practices revision for PRE, and I'm quite enjoying it. However, there's a lot of content in the exam for PRE. Also, can we just appreciate the work this camera can do in low light? That f1.4, really get some amazing lighting i'm really glad i invested a lot of money so please subscribe because i need subscribers because i just spent a lot of money on a new camera so don't forget to subscribe i pack up all my stuff and pretty much finish all my work in the weekdays at nine o'clock and after that it's free time till about 10 10 30 when i head to bed when it comes to revision you always have to find that balance between you know doing too much work and doing too little work but when you find that balance you can still have fun and also get a lot of work done here i was just watching marquez's new video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video i can try and do more of these kind of day in the life and study with me's don't forget to subscribe and have a productive week